Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 2 of Let's Play the Game of Thrones mod for City Kings 2. So, I unfortunately did have a, a crash. This is my second time recording episode 2. So, um, a couple of things that I had kind of messed with a little bit didn't work out, and because I hadn't actually let the game tick at all, there was no save file to load. So we've had to reload as King Peter, Lord Peter, Littlefinger. And uh, so we're just going to have to quickly start fresh. We have kind of randomized characters. They're a little bit different than before. But um, let's go ahead and get these guys appointed. So we want to oversee province. I want to improve diplomatic relations with, say, Eddard. I want to train troops. Sure. Let's collect taxes. Let's also build a spy network in our liege's capital. And uh, let's let this guy just kind of hang, hang tight, you know? I mean, I don't think we have any revolt risk, do we? No, we're just fine. Doing just fine. Now, I do have the option for a couple of ambitions that I didn't remember seeing last time. We can choose to try to gain an honorary title. Or we could choose to befriend King Ares II. But um, I think I'm going to try to follow kind of in the footsteps of the actual plot. Because I think that's just... The smart play to, to try to uh, wow look at all these mercenary companies They're cheap ten gold there's not very many very many men of course mostly heavy cavalry as well I wonder what kind of uh, what kind of troop attack values do they have they look to be about normal interesting okay all right so we got everybody working except for that guy don't have to worry about the uh, revolt risk, so I'm not going to mess with it. I do need to get married, so I'm going to wait, though. Hopefully, we'll get appointed something by King Ares. <laughs> what? I've just been sent to research economy tech. I, I didn't realize that you could do economy tech. I don't think that's even an option. That must be some sort of like a localization issue or something. That's kind of funny. No, he's collecting taxes. Okay, so this is already a faction has become, become, begun. I can speak, I swear. You know what I should do is, uh, our Master of Coin is terrible. Uh, long live the king, sure. I'm gonna employ a new master. A new person who's good with coin. Hopefully we find someone that we can... Yeah, he's better. Collect taxes with him. He'll pay for himself over time, I bet. What kind of buildings can we make? A dragon pit. I must be a dragon rider. Have a wild dragon or young dragon. Other than that, we've got normal types of buildings like barracks. A wine cellar to increase the fertility. That looks like something from the Republic DLC. Castle Town. Sounds like something Peter Baelish would like. Basic defenses. Now this holding is considered to be a small veil keep. Try and turn it into a large keep. Large veil keep. I see. So you can actually, you can never actually build this. I'm not sure why they list it as a, a value of 3,000 then, but you can't actually build it on command. You've got to pay the 1,800 and then use this improved castle holding thing to hopefully upgrade it from small to large, which would give us just more men, basically. Be interesting to see what the highest levels do. In fact, if we probably looked at our neighbors, yeah, this is a small castle. Look at that, a thousand men. 1700 total levy compared to ours at 500. We just need to upgrade it a bit. I wonder how big this one is. It's a huge Crownlander fortress. Yeek. Right, so, okay, well hopefully we can ally ourselves with the, uh, with Robert's Rebellion soon. Get, get to plotting. I do need to get married. I'm just hoping that King Ares gives me that special title of sorts 
before we before we flip sides, so we can get that extra little bit of prestige. Hey, there we go. Just maybe keeper of swans. Perfect. Filled our ambition to get an honorary title. And um, I don't think that we're going to get our opinion that high of him. But I do want to get married. Gain 40 piety for getting married. Now, I was hoping that we might be able to kill Eddard here, but I don't... I don't know. I don't... I just don't see that happening. Unless he's... Wow. Why, why is Roos allowed to plot against him? And why does Roos Bolton like him? Everyone's gonna love him. He's 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 Eddard Stark, you know? He's he's the father figure. So instead we'll just find a marriage from somebody else. But I am gonna use a fine character's interface. I wanna find Peter Baelish is a man of of many skills. He can find any all kinds of women. Let's see if we cannot find across the entire world a woman worthy of Peter Baelish. Apparently you can have three traits now. You have an attractive 14 year old who holds the old gods. Hmm, it's a huge 16 year old, Leonette. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> Hara, the master of coin. We marry her? We can. Costs 100 prestige because she's house lowborn. She's 16. She's quick. A little bit selfish. Really, the only two state... Well, there's, I guess, three state attributes matter now, ever since they changed technology. Um... Technology in, in Vanilla SAK2 used to be dependent on your state attributes, then they changed it, now it's based on personal attributes, so I think it's a neglected feature, but um, state diplomacy still affects the way that other characters relate to you. State martial still affects your ability to imprison people. State stewardship affects your annual income. State intrigue affects your ability to plot. So I guess that's four that are useful. State, in, state learning does nothing. Like nothing at all. It has no no value whatsoever, except for you know having more learning skill does help, I guess, in some ways for like I think piety growth. I think it is. It's not listed, but part of that that number is calculated that way. So let's take the uh, let's take the quick girl. That's fine. She's got 15 stewardship. We'll lose a little bit of prestige, but we have no heir, so we need to do it. Lord Peter Baelish and Hara Lowborn have gotten married. It is customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house. But there's no one to pay it because she's Lowborn. How sad. We've fulfilled our ambition. Want to gather 250 gold. I think that's a, an am, a pretty wise plot for someone like Peter Baelish. Let's try that. Or not plot, but ambition. How goes the war? I don't know what has happened lately. No matter what my lover does, I feel ir I have a lover? Oh, interesting. So I'm, I'm apparently sleeping with uh, Lord John's wife. <laughs> Funny. I don't love her anymore, apparently. Okay. That is, uh... That's Kat's sister. So apparently I couldn't get with Catelyn, so I was sleeping with Eliza. Elisa. He's Eliza. What are you up to? I've lost my Castellan. At the young age of 36. A natural death. That seems awfully young. Well... Can we employ anyone new? Because the... Shoot, I mean, ugh. What a terrible... It's a truly terrible Castellan.
Ooh, going to Grand Hunt. Sure, let's see if we can go get maimed. <laughs> oh shoot, I have a regent. <laughs> Apparently going on a Grand Hunt gives you a regent. That's my master of laws. He does like me, so hopefully he won't do anything bad. While chasing an agile deer, my horse stumbled and broke its leg. I will end its suffering. Okay, here's our chance to get maimed. Do we want to become wroth? No. Let's get maimed. Bam! Nope, didn't happen. We did not pick up maimed. Now, would you consider Lord Peter Baelish to be a kind man? I don't know about that. We could chance getting maimed again. Gain some extra prestige. I, I don't know, I think we're going to need the intrigue more than the diplomacy. And we have no vassals that will care about us being kind. Let's chance getting wounded. Hey, look at that. He's actually a decent hunter. How nice. Now apparently, uh, Lord, somebody big is coming to sit on us. So hopefully we can declare allegiance for the other guy. Come on, let me join. Let me join Robert's Rebellion. Oh, here it is right here. Decide upon Civil War sides. Yeah, I don't want to, uh, I don't want that. So let's, let's be presented with an option to either support the Iron Throne or if allowed to, join Robert Baratheon. Um, let's support the rebels. We'll join King Robert. We're clearly a turncoat. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just what we do. And he's probably quite upset with me for joining the rebellion. Meanwhile, they're suffering attrition. Look at that picture, that's kind of cool. So you hear rumors that people are mocking the way you dress. They say you spend far too much time choosing what to wear. Some have even went so far as to accuse you of behaving in a womanly matter. A uh, womanly manner. I can shrug it off and potentially become rude. I think I'm already fashionable. Uh, I could confront, confront the rumors publicly. He would like me less, but I'd gain prestige. Well, I clearly don't want to become rude. Peter Baelish is too strategic for that. Could try to employ the Golden Horde. Or the Golden Company, excuse me. Huh. I'm very interested in getting a, uh, a Valyrian sword at some point. Now, the War of the Usurper is going well. King Aerys the Mad is just 40 years old. However, he is a lunatic. And a tyrant. Fire obsessed. That is cool. I love the traits. This is really cool. The war is going in the favor of Robert. Mostly due to battles. And he is, of course, a, a monstrous guy in combat. Look at these look at these modifiers. His light his mounted troops, 73% stronger. He's deadly in pursuit. Huge morale defense. 24.5% damage. An extra 24.5 if he leads the center. You know, when he was a young man, Robert Baratheon was a he was a beast on the field. It's only in the books that he becomes old and fat after he's won the when he's He's won the Iron Throne and sat upon it for a number of years, so he's young and skinny, as am I. I'm 17, our soon-to-be king. Where is he? This him? Yeah. He's 20. He's a couple years my senior. And then, of course, Eddard Stark of the North, 21, one year Robert Senior. He's leading troops. He's managed to get all the way down here. They're assaulting. They're going to win soon, I think. As to be expected. My liege, since I arrived in Mil Midlore, there's never been a shortage of, sh of soldiers. That's that's fine. Let's try to employ a new... a new Castellan. We need somebody who's good with money. Five is terrible. OK, 
Okay, so it doesn't tell you when you've gotten a new character. I guess we'll take the 8. He's better. Extra 3% tax for 2 gold. Eh. Not really that much of an improvement, really. Lowers the build time modifier, but not the cost. Build time modifier. Oh no, I'm ill. I sure hope I don't die. Okay, well, I think this is a good spot to, to wrap this one up, and uh, I'm definitely going to save. In fact, I'm going to save before I even quit the episode, because I don't want to lose this video again. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. See you soon.